the monkey and the crocodile. For a long time, a young crocodile had been trying to catch a certain monkey. The crocodile had almost caught the monkey once. The monkey, though, had cleverly escaped and moved far down the river. But the crocodile was still determined to catch him. He searched and searched until, finally, he found the monkey living in another tree. Here a large rock rose out of the water, halfway between the monkey's new home and the island. The crocodile watched the monkey jumping from the river bank to the rock and then to the island where the fruit trees were. Monkey, will you stay on the island all day? The crocodile thought to himself, and I'll catch you on your way home tonight. The monkey had a fine feast while the crocodile swam about, watching him all day. Toward the night, the crocodile crawled out of the water and lay on the rock perfectly still. When it grew dark among the trees, the monkey started for home. He ran down to the river bank, and then he stopped. What is the matter with the rock? The monkey wondered. I never saw it so high before. Something must be lying on it. The monkey went to the water's edge and called. Hello, rock. No answer. He called again. Hello, rock. Still no answer. Three times the monkey called, and then he said, why is it, friend rock, that you do not answer me tonight? Oh, said the crocodile to himself, the rock must talk to the monkey at night. I'll have to answer for the rock this time. So he answered, yes, monkey, what is it? The monkey laughed and said, oh, it's you, crocodile, is it? Yes, said the crocodile, I am waiting here for you and I am going to eat you up. You have certainly caught me this time, said monkey, sounding afraid. There is no other way for me to go home. Open your mouth wide so I can jump right into it. Now, the monkey knew very well that when crocodiles open their mouths wide, they shut their eyes. So, when the crocodile lay on the rock with his mouth open and his eyes shut, the monkey jumped but not into his mouth. He landed on top of the crocodile's head and he sprang up quickly to the river bank. Up he ran and to his tree. When the crocodile saw the trick the monkey had played on him, he said, Monkey, I thought I was cunning, but you are much more cunning than I am, and you know no fear. I will leave you alone after this. Thank you, crocodile, said monkey, but I shall be on the watch for you just the same. And so he was. The crocodile never ever got him.